Who is this arising like the dawn, fair as the moon, resplendent as the sun, terribly, terrible as an army with banners? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So you're all very welcome for our Mass today. It's the Feast of Our Lady, Help of Christians, who's the patron, patroness of Australia, but also especially of this church. So it's a kind of a special Mass for today. We welcome all those of you, obviously those watching by live stream. I'm offering it for, for a lawyer called John McCoo, who's very seriously ill, so I'd like you to pray for him. I'm offering this Mass for him today. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who place the love of Our Lady, help of Christians, in the hearts of those who brought the Catholic faith to these shores. Grant, through her intercession, wisdom to our leaders and integrity to our citizens, so that under her protection, Australia may know harmony, justice and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of Proverbs. A perfect wife, who can find her? She is far beyond the price of pearls. Her husband's heart has confidence in her. From her he will derive no little profit. Advantage and not hurt she brings him all the days of his life. She is always busy with wool and with flax. She does her work with eager hands. She sets her hands to the distaff. Her fingers grasp the spindle. She holds out her hand to the poor. She opens her arms to the needy. Charm is deceitful and beauty empty. The woman who is wise is the one to praise. Give her a share in what her hands have worked for and let her works tell her praises at the city gates. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. The response, you are the highest honour of our race. You are the highest honour of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, 
beyond all women on earth, and may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. The truth you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our Lord. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you do not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. A reading from the letter of St. James. If there are any wise or learned men among you, let them show it by their good lives with humility and wisdom in their actions. But if at heart you have the bitterness of jealousy or self-seeking ambition, never make any claims for yourself or cover up the truth with lies. Principles of this kind are not the wisdom that comes down from above. They are only earthly, animal, and devilish. Wherever you find jealousy and ambition, you find disharmony and wicked things of every kind being done. Whereas the wisdom that comes down from the above is essentially something pure. It also makes for peace and is kindly and considerate. It is full of compassion and shows itself by doing good. Nor is there any trace of partiality or hypocrisy in it. Peacemakers, when they work for peace, sow the seeds which will bear fruit in holiness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your firm believing that the promises of the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, of all women, you are the most blessed and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? From the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exults in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age from, for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich he sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. On a visit to Fatima, Pope Benedict XVI said, there is no church without Pentecost. And he says, dare I say, there is no Pentecost without the Virgin Mary. There's a beautiful stained glass window. It's at the back here, and it's all the apostles with the beautiful red uh, flames over their heads. But right in the middle, absolutely in the middle, because she was there, uh, is Mary herself. And why do we have her as, as the, 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 her feast today, Mary, help of Christians? Because she's taken very seriously what Jesus said to her on the cross. 
woman, behold your son. We're her children. She sees us very often when we're weak, when we're unable to carry on. She's going to be right there with us. That isn't a fact that happened just at that cross and with John, but with everybody. And so with the Australian church when it began very feebly in the, in the early, the late 1700s and from then on, very, very small growth, but tremendous help from many, many very simple Christians all over the country, building schools, churches, and living the faith. Today we pray that faith can be handed on. That's the si difficult situation where we need Mary more than ever. If I could invite you to stand up, we'd say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. There was a huge mass a bit earlier here for the 200 years of Catholic education, but let's say a Hail Mary for the continuation of the faith, just as strong and as vivid as it was 100 or 200 years ago. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we share it, come to share in the divinity of Christ, who covered himself to share his passion in us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you, and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the, on the solemnity of Mary, help of Christians. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Refreshed by this heavenly sacrament, Lord God, we pray for Australia, our earthly home, that with the help of the Virgin Mary, we may become a new creation in Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And thank you.